and welcome back. So in today's video, I am just gonna do a little vlog and it's gonna be something that I'm gonna post probably two weeks after I'm filming this or, you know, a little bit after I'm filming this. But basically, I just wanted to document this on my channel, but I didn't want to post it straight away. Oh, by the way, I've got a cup of tea, which I literally just made, so you can probably see the steam coming off of it. But it's warming me up because I'm not going to put my heating on 24-7 because of money. So I need hot drinks. But anyway, oh, and I've got a candle. Anyway, so basically, I... If you haven't seen, which I will have posted before this video, even though I haven't actually filmed that video yet, is I will have posted a memorial video for my previous hamster, Dean. I don't know, he was my hamster for like, well, like over two years anyway, at least. And I literally, he's my favourite hamster I've ever had. I, I don't know, can I, can I say that? Can I have hamster favouritism? I don't know, but he is my favourite hamster I've ever had. And I don't know what it is, but... He was just a special hamster and he was so tame and he was just so nice and he was just the friendliest hamster ever. But he did have to be put down. You know, for me filming this video, he was put down very, very, very recently. But for you watching this, it would have been like a couple of weeks ago. And I had to make that decision and I will discuss more in my memorial video as to why I had to put him down. But I just wanted to mention that I did have a hamster, so don't get confused. He looks a lot different to what I'm about to show you, but I've only ever experienced hamsters, Syrian hamsters, I've only ever had Syrian hamsters, but I've only ever experienced ones that are like what Dean looked like, so like a caramelly kind of colour with like a little white bit, so like white and caramel. I decided that I was going to get another hamster. I knew even when Dean was ill and I knew before he died for many, many months that I would have got a new hamster when he'd gone because I live in this flat on my own and I just like to have something to look after. I like to have something to have a purpose for and, you know, just put a hamster in a ball every day. Dean was getting so old and he was quite ill that I couldn't actually put him in a ball in the end because he just had no energy. He didn't even have energy in the end to drink out of his own water bottle. So he wasn't that kind of hamster towards the end but I have decided to get another one and I have got another one. It's sitting right next to me fast asleep, but I didn't know whether to leave it a little bit of time to be like respectful or whatever to Dean. But then I thought like, I don't, it's, you know, I'm not replacing him as such. I'm just getting another hamster because I like to not feel lonely. So I do feel slightly guilty that I haven't even buried him and I've already got another hamster. Like that's quite bad. And I will be burying him tomorrow and filming a memorial video. So I, that will be up. But I like pets. I like my pets and I'm close to my pets, especially when I've looked after them so much. And I just wanted to get another one. And I just knew that that's something that I want and have something to look after. It's not a pain for me. It doesn't get in the way. It's actually something that I like to hear at night. I like to hear hamsters in wheels at night time it helps me sleep i know that's weird i'm not saying i have his cage right next to my head whilst i sleep i'm saying just a subtle noise downstairs and i'm upstairs kind of thing i don't have a door on my bedroom which means that i can hear quite clearly downstairs so um i kind of like that i like to feel like there's something there so i knew straight away that i wasn't gonna wait like wait around for what like what i'm waiting around for so yeah i did go and get one i went to the pet shop and i picked one and and then I will show a few clips of him when we got him. I chose to get a boy rather than a girl because I've only ever experienced boy hamsters. And I did research whilst I was in the pet shop, which one's better to get, boy or girl. And it said that boys tend to be a lot more calm. So I was like, I'm just going to stick to what I know. So I did get a boy. And I think I have decided to call him Finn, uh, Stanley. Why did I say Finley? It sounds so much similar to Stanley. I'm not calling him Finley, I'm calling him Stanley. I think I'm going to call him Stanley, but you'll know if I change it because I'll update you in this video. But I think I'm going to vlog for a couple of weeks, just show clips of him from start to finish, just so that I can document this and I can like look back on this in the future and stuff like that, which is exactly what I did with Dean as well. If you look back on my channel, I did film him. So I just wanted to do this um, just for my sake, really. And also, if you're interested in hamsters and things, then you can watch this, obviously. But yeah, I'm just gonna document the first couple of weeks whilst he's with me and just things that he does. Obviously, he is a baby, so he will be different to 
when he's older so it will be nice to look back on videos of him when he's small like he is now his birthday was on the 9th of september and why did my voice just go then um, but yeah his birthday is on the 9th of september so i like the fact that i know that and i'm going to keep a note of that so that i can celebrate his birthday with presents um just small presents but yeah i'm excited um to look after him and yeah he is in a small cage at the minute but he is only small i will make his cage bigger in time when he gets a little bit bigger but i do understand that hamsters do need a lot of space but i will get that don't worry i do actually have a bigger cage in my carriage anyway already from my previous hamster but i put him in this little one because he is only little so yeah i'm just going to show you some clips now and vlog along the way so i hope you enjoyed this video and i will let you crack on watching yeah. it He's like, I want to go back. <laughs> it's chilly. Oh my god, he's- Oh, he's so cute! He's scared. Don't be scared. I'm not gonna eat ya. Just yet. He's just reorganising things. It's just- Shut that up. Oh, that's a ladder gone already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we put ladders on here so that he could get up there, but he can get up there anyway. But we've taken this out for now just whilst he settles in because it's a pain in the bum and we just want him to get settled in first of all. Before we fiddle that bit in it, yeah. Well, if that ladder's come off and maybe I should just take them out. So little Stanley is in his cage right now. He's been in this for a little while. By the way, that's a box of supplies and treats and everything. Um, I need to kind of go through that in case I want to change anything. But um, this is a small cage. I am going to update it at some point, like I said, but I've got the tubes. Dean, my previous hamster, used to love these tubes so much. So he even slept in them sometimes and put his food and bedding in. So I'm expecting Finley to do the same. And he's got his bowl of food and he's got taken some of that into his bed. And his bedding is actually there. I left his bedding out so that he could put it in his cage himself because he has actually taken some in and also some sawdust in as well. I wanted to put in plenty of stuff so that he can just sort things out himself. But if he doesn't put it in his bed, then I might do that myself. But yeah, he's currently in his home fast asleep. I've heard him come out for water. In fact, I can see him moving around because he can probably hear me. But yeah, he's definitely still alive because I, can, I heard him come out for water. But yeah, he's got his water bottle. He's got his little wheel. This is a very small wheel and it's meant for small baby Syrian hamsters I have got a bigger wheel that actually is flat and you put it on um you you'll see it in the future anyway but yeah that's for when he gets bigger so I thought I'll put that in now and then I put on a couple of ladders that aren't even meant to be in that cage so that he can kind of climb up into his tubes so yeah that's his little cage when he has been here a little while, I'm not gonna touch him for 24 hours. I might put a treat through the um, sidebars. I used to do that with my previous hamster, Dean, put a treat um, straight from my hand into his mouth just to tame him so that he associated me and my hand with treats rather than something evil. So that's a good thing to do is to give them treats in that way. So that's what I did before and I'm gonna do now. And I'm also gonna put him in his ball tomorrow, see how he gets on in that, so. I'll film that. Uh, this is just going to be me filming his little first times at doing everything. So yeah, bless his soul. Hello and welcome to day two of being with Stanley. So today is 
my second day. He literally was so good, like he settled in really, really well. And last night he was in his wheel, he was in his tubes and he was running around and he was really good. And yeah, he was noisy all night, which is good. I like hearing the noise. Um, and I did manage to sleep absolutely fine. It's just sometimes I wake up in the night anyway. And yeah, so he was asleep and I'm actually going to uni soon. So I thought, oh, it's probably best that I get him out in his little ball now because I want to tame him like I did De Dean. Dean was very tame hamster and I tamed him when I first got him. So I'm just doing that with Stanley, you know, making sure that he is tame and everything. So I did actually wake him up to tame him um, because I wouldn't have too much time later on. But yeah, I just wanted to get him out just so that he's fine. And he seems absolutely fine. Like I, he let me stroke him and everything. He doesn't run away like some hamsters would. So yeah, he's doing great. I'm just feeding him and then he'll probably go straight to sleep anyway. But yeah, I'm going to give him a treat. I've put him in his ball for the first time. So this is probably his first time in a ball. So he's probably a little bit scared. Um, so I am going to take him out now. He's been in it for like a minute. I just want him to get used to it. And I will give him some treats to say well done. So yeah. Right, I think it's, I'm talking to the camera. I think it's like day four or something and I've put him in his ball again. I did actually put him in it last night and he was actually rolling around quite a bit, yeah. but he looks a little bit scared. I'm talking to the camera. He looks a little bit scared because he's washing and usually they wash when they're scared, but I need to keep putting him in it so he gets used to it because it will be his form of exercise. So don't worry, he is fine. He just needs to get used to it. I'm just gonna put him in it for a few minutes every day until he gets used to it, but hopefully he'll start running around in a second getting a little bit more confident now. I'll only keep him in it for a few minutes so that he gets used to it because we don't want him to get too scared. But I always feed him after I've put him in his ball so that hopefully he'll associate the ball with treats and food. <laughs> so yeah, I'll feed him after. But he always eats his food. He's a good boy. But yeah. Have you got stuck? I think you've got stuck. Come this way. This way. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Stanley is currently in his little tube he's right in there i saw him in his bowl and he clearly wanted food so usually i'll put him in his bowl and that means that he will have to get his food after being in his bowl so that he associates being in his bowl with good things treats and food but he's coming to his tube oh my god that's so cute so i'll have to wait for him to get out and then try and put him in his bowl by the way excuse my face i've just had a shower but he is settling in really, really well. He's actually a lot more friendly than I thought. Compared to my last hamster, he's not quite as friendly, but he is still pretty damn friendly. So yeah, I can't complain. He has tried to escape a couple of times, but we won't go there. Um, whenever I put him in his ball, he likes to jump. So yeah, but he does like being in the ball now. And he's kind of thirsty now. He's just having a drink. I bet he's like, why is this woman filming me and commentating on my entire life? But, you know, he's cute. He's thirsty. 
So I thought that this would be the final day that I vlog having Stanley. I've had him for now a week, so I thought I would now finish filming that. Why is it not in focus? Oh, there we go. So I am about to clean his cage out. I'm gonna clean his cage out once a week. He's only literally doesn't really do a hell load of poos and wheeze yet, but I am gonna clean him out. So I'm gonna have to wake him up now. So he's not gonna be very happy about that. Hello, little guy. It's wakey wakey's time. I'm about to clean you out. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> he was going until I turned the camera on. He probably got scared. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna leave him in his ball and then I'm gonna clean his cage out. Okay, I'm gonna end this video. In the future, I'll probably do a video showing you me cleaning out his cage, but I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.